now we can create custom fields we can create the custom fields in three different ways first one is standard navigation second one is schema third one is metadata soap api web service so these are the three ways in which we are we can create the field so in how many ways we can create the fields in three ways we can create the fields now look at the format first one standard navigation now let us look at the navigation standard navigation classic setup build create setup build create objects object name custom fields and relation so what is the standard navigation we had set up build create objects object name custom fields and relation new this is the standard navigation what we had set up build create objects object name custom fields and relation new this is the standard navigation what we had now if you go with this set up build create objects choose the objects what we have customer custom fields and relations then what is the step number 1 we had choose the data type step number 1 choose the data type now all these are data types we have seen only couple of them choose the data type so i am choosing text as a data type last name length i give 80 characters now do you want to make it required if it is required we get a red symbol like this now is it unique you want the value to be unique if you say value to be unique then it is asking is it a case sensitive when is a case sensitive already i have a record with satish like this now can i enter a data with a name called satish already there is a record with a name called satish s capital now can i enter the data like satish s small both of them are same or unique so if you say it is a case sensitive both of them are both of them are unique if you say they are not case sensitive both of them are same now it is asking is it a case sensitive or unique is it a case sensitive or unique now it is asking whether it is a case sensitive or a unique now i am giving boss treat capital abc small abc as a duplicate which means it is a case sensitive case in okay as a duplicate now it is a case insensitive treat capital abc and small abc as different case sensitive now don't touch any other things just enter the field details next next see just give next next and see then go to customer click on new what you are able to see last time. now how i am creating setup build create objects 
choose the object new then we have text first name next i am not touching any other property data type field details next next and save. once you create the field because it is a custom field we have underscore underscore c because it is a custom field we have underscore underscore c now new data type name we told phone number phone number next phone next next similarly how will you create the next one i want to create email so take email next 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 once again navigation setup once again navigation setup last setup build create objects choose the object now we had new then choose the data type customer currency i have chosen currency then salary next next i hope you have followed my points so what i am doing choose the data type choose the data type enter the details next next say i hope you are good clear for everyone okay now we can also do this in the second format what is the second format setup build schema builder schema builder what is the object we are choosing customer object we are a customer object then we are going with the elements right once again setup build schema builder choose the object name click on auto layout we are going to get this then go to elements then we have checkbox drag and drop active data birth then we are going to get email number age then i have some other data like own house then we had address what i'm doing simply dragging and we are dragging and dropping it choose the data type drag and drop are you getting my point here choose the data type drag and drop are you clear about this okay now if you are creating the fields using a schema builder the fields will not be displayed on the output screen now we have created a own house address okay active date of birth we have created all those fields are you able to see those fields here no if you build the fields using schema builder they will not be added on the ui we have to write extra steps to add them to the ui straight away the fields will not be added on the ui if you go with the standard navigation what will happen 
fields will be added on the UI. If you go with a standard navigation, automatically fields will be added to the UI. But if you go with schema builder, fields will not be added on the UI. If I go with a schema builder, fields will not be added on the UI. Fields will not be added on the UI. I hope you are clear. So if you go with a schema builder, what will happen? Fields are not added to the UI. Are you clear about this? Clear? So how many ways we can create? Three ways. Declarative ways, two. Programmatical is third. I gave all the three points because as a certification, they'll ask you in how many ways we can create. So I have put all the points at one location. So in how many ways we can create? Standard navigation, schema builder, then metadata, SOAP API. Now, if I want to create one field, one by one field I want to create. If I want to create one by one field, then I'll go with a schema builder. So that if I want to create a group of fields, schema builder, create all the fields first. Then we will decide how to show. If it is one by one field, if it is one by one field, use a standard navigation and a create. I hope you are good with this. Everyone is good with this? Okay. Now, look at the format. Now, at the same time, I want to understand next level of fields. So, we have seen checkbox, number, currency, date, date time, okay, email, phone number, everything is good, right? Everyone is good with this, okay. Now, how do you create fields using lightning? This is a classic standard navigation, the classic and a schema builder. Similarly, in the lightning, how do you create? Switch to lightning. How do you create them in the lightning? How do you create them in the lightning? So let us go to the lightning. Setup. Setup. Then platform. Platform tools. Object and fields. Setup. Platform tools. Objects and fields. Object manager. Then choose the object, customer. Then what are you finding here? Fields and relations. Here I am going to enter the fields here. Then what is that? New. Choose the data type. Phone. Next. Alternate number. Next. Next. Right, boss. So, what is the navigation? Setup, platform tools, object and fields, object manager, choose the object, fields and relation. I hope you are good with this. Right. Now, let me give you classic. In the lightning, setup, platform tools, then objects and fields, object manager, Object manager, object, fields and relation. Then what is the step one? Step one, choose the data type. Step two, enter the field details. Step three, next, 
step 4 next as of now we are not learning what is that next next right now we are giving next next and right every custom field will have underscore underscore every custom field will have underscore underscore c appended every custom field will have underscore c, underscore c appended to the name i hope you are good with this okay now let us go to the next one this is the way of creating the fields the second step is what schema builder how do you create the fields using schema builder in the classic what is the navigation we had setup setup build then schema builder choose the object click on auto layout Click on auto layout, then choose the elements, drag and drop. Now, same lightning, in the lightning also we can create using schema builder. So, in the lightning how will you create? Now, go to object manager on the object manager what are you finding here schema builder choose the object and create it so what is the navigation in the schema builder in the lightning setup platform tools platform tools objects and object manager then we are going to use schema builder this is how we are creating the objects i hope you are good with this right now what is the third way using metadata soap api website there is a programmatical integration format okay till here everyone is good clear for everyone let us look at the next data type. What is the next data type we have? Pick list. What is a pick list? Pick list is a drop down list. Now, pick list is a drop down list. Look at this. This is what? Pick list. Drop down list we are giving. It is a pick list. Drop down list. This is what? Pick list. How to create pick list fields? How to create? pick list fields in the object now there is a couple of critical points on the pick list let us understand those points first if i give city as a pick list field none we have when i choose this We are getting here. So, we are going to give we have the option. Drop down list, we are getting option. First one is how many options we can enter? It is a drop down list. So, how many options we can enter? 1000 options. How many options I can give? thousand options I can give. What is the maximum length of each option? Each option can be 255 characters. All options together, all options together 
what is the maximum length all options together what is the maximum length 15000 characters all options together what is the maximum length 15000 characters all options together how many characters 15000 characters all the options together how many characters 15000 characters are you getting my point okay then next now how many options we can select at a time how many options we can select at a time one option only one option we can select at a time can we sort the options can we sort them yes we can get the options alphabetically now pick list means drop down list where i can give 1000 option length of each option can be 255 characters all options together it can be 14000 okay 15000 characters what does it mean now we had an option what is the length of this option three characters all options together what is the length all options together the length is 13. all options together it can be 13 characters right can we sort them alphabetically yes we get bangalore chennai hyderabad pune now what is the default option what is the default option what is the default option none is the default option no i don't want to have a none first option should be a default option so whenever i open i should not get none i have to get hyderabad as a default option yes we can choose hyderabad as a default option i can make any one of the option as default so when i open the record by default what will be selected the first value will be selected are you getting my point so choose the first value as default value okay now are you clear about this so pick list is what a drop down list where i can enter 1000 options at a time maximum 255 characters is the length all the options together it can be 15000 characters and we can sort the options we can sort the options we can sort the options right now let us go with this now let me create the updations here what is the data type we had it is a drop down list is a drop down list this is a drop down list we can select only one option we can select only one option at a time how many options we can enter we can enter 1000 options maximum length of each option maximum length of each option maximum length of each option is 255 characters all options together maximum length is 15000 all options together maximum length is 15000 characters all options together maximum length is 
15,000 characters. We can sort the values alphabetically. We can make the first option as default option. We can make first option as default option. I hope you are clear. So this is a pick list. At a time, how many options we can select? One option. What if you want to select more than one option? At a time, we can only select one option. At a time, if you want to select more than one option, what is the concept we have? Then we have multi selector pick list multi selector when i say pick list multi selector now we are going to have like this this is a multi select where i can select more than one option at a time multi select means where we can select more than one option at a time if you start listening to the class you will follow Stop looking at that materials. They are given for reference. Right. Materials will be with you only. You can write at home. Keep at your desk. You can read it later. Right. Listen to the conversation. First, you need to get out of your j attitude. Right. Then you will be learning. Right. So, still don't behave like a student. Gain the professionalism. Right. Now, look at the format. What we are doing here? We are going with multi-select pick list. When I say multi-select pick list, I am giving an options here. So, how many options I can select? I can select more than one option. Now, when you say more than one option, how many options? I can select 100 options at max. First question. How many options we can enter? How many options we can enter? Answer is uh, 150 options. How many options we can enter? 150 options. Then, how many options we can select? So, it is uh, 100 options we can select. What is the length of each option? What is the maximum length of each option? 40 characters. All options together. We can have maximum length of maximum length of 1500. All options together we can have a maximum length of 1500. So what was that? multi select pick list. When I say multi select pick list, when I say multi select pick list, we will be able to select more than one option. We will be able to select more than one option. Maximum number of options what we can enter is 150. How many we can select? 100. Length of each option is 40. All options together it can be 1500 characters. I hope you are good with this. Right. So let me give you. It is also a, a pick list. It is used to select more than one option at a time. Now, how many options we can enter? We can enter. 150 options in multi select. At max, we can select 100 options. At max, we can enter 
హండ్రెడ్ ఆప్షన్ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ ఆప్షన్ ఫార్టీ కరెక్ట్ ఆల్ ఆప్షన్స్ టుగెదర్ మాక్సిమం ఎంత తీస్ రైట్ దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ వి హవ్ క్లీట్ సో క్విక్ లిస్ట్ అండ్ మల్టీ సెలెక్ట్ క్విక్ లిస్ట్ సో లెట్ సీ దిస్ let me create this quick list fields set up build create objects customer new what is the data type we had quick list choose the data type as quick list no type of customer customer type enter the values now we have use global pick list second one we have enter the values when is enter the values personal it can be a personal customer or it can be corporate customer display the values alphabetically use the first value as default value no next next we got a type corporate and now we are giving this let us say we have a city field city picklish field is that the same city picklish field is also available on payments same city picklish field is also available on course now i want to have a picklish field in which i am going to have four option same option should be there in course same option should be there in the payment option that means options what i created should be same in all the three fields all the three fields should have same option if i remove one option here in all the three fields option should be removed are you getting my point wherever i am keeping a city wherever i am using a city same option should come if i add any new city that value should be added if i remove a city value should be removed so how to maintain now i don't want to go to every field and modify there is a city field in account object contact object opportunity object customer object in four objects i have a field called city in the city field same list of options i want to have i want to have same list of options when i want to have same list of options when i want to have same list of options how will you control it now i can create them separately but if i create them separately what will happen if i want to add a new option i have to go to every field and add an option if i want to remove a field i have to go to every field remove the option which i don't want i want to control from a particular position so look at this set up build create then we had build create global what was that not global action labels log layout objects pick list sorry they modified it here it is a pick list value set pick list value set pick list value set cities i am giving i entered display the values alphabetically you can make the first value as default if you want so what did i do i created a set of options now go to the customer 
new what is the field next use the global pick list value set pick list value set what is the value set whatever the options are given in the cities use the same options next either i can enter my own values or i can choose global pick list set i can define the options in the pick list set i can use the same options so whatever the options are there we are going to get the same options go to this bangalore chennai hyderabad i hope you are good with this list of is there was clear am i clear with this right now i am going to payment here also i am creating a one more pick list field new pick list next next we had payments this how we got now i can go to global pick list set delete pune delete the pune when i deleted the pune right so i can control the values from the global pick list set so wherever i am using use the global pick list set the same options will be there in every field i can add a new field there i can add a new option i can remove a existing option are you clear when you want the same set of options to be available in multiple pick list field we will create those options like a pick list set right now if you want to add any option or remove the option go to the pick list set add the option remove the option are you clear am i clear with this right now what is the point here pick list set please set if you want to have same set of option on multiple fields if you want to have same set of options on multiple fields then we will use then we will create those options as pick list set and use them how do you create set up then we had build create pick list set enter the option right now what should i do steps to create pick list how do you create step number 1 choose the data type as enter the field name choose global pick list set
option e. choose the degree set name next next this is how we are created so choose the data type as tick list enter the field name choose the global tick list set option while creating a tick list field what is the property we have followed new tick list set tick list next enter the tick list name choose global tick list value set choose the tick list set name next next save or else what is the other option enter values you can enter your own values i hope you are good with this clear for everyone okay now how do you create a multi select tick list so go to the now a new then i have multi select multi select tick list next languages now give couple of languages alphabetically next it is also created just like a picklist only when you go to customer now we are able to select more than one option today i hope you are good with this format okay so picklist and multi sir pick list anyone has any query on this format okay now once the pick list is created if you want to add any new options or remove the existing option how will you do that you have created a pick list later on i decided to add a couple of new options we already created a pick list i want to remove some of the options how will you handle this so go to the object we are finding the list of fields these are the list of fields in this what is the pick list field city is the pick list field select this now when you select this we are finding the list of options right values you are finding we are able to see the list of options click on edit now open this we are able to see now why you are not able to add any other things because these people are not these, these people are not assigned these values they have gone to the they have gone to the global pick list set they added the option so you cannot add options here directly if you take a global pick list set you cannot options directly in the city you have to go to that particular field add the option okay but if you look at any other field what is the other field type type is a pick list go to this type now what you are finding here new reorder replace click on we are able to add new options right if you want i can delete or deactivate deactivate this option so on the existing pick list field you can add a new options remove the options or you can de deactivate the options as per your choice i hope you are good with this example everyone is fine good with this example right okay so let us go to creation of one more pick list field now overall final conclusion tell me how do you create set up build create object 
choose the course the customer new pick list martali shivajinagar i gave a couple of places now understand the concept clearly we went to customers clicked on new so what we are getting here city places bangalore but what places are coming all the places are coming why i want all the places if i select bangalore only bangalore places has to come if i select chennai only chennai places has to come are you getting my point so what is this based on the option what i selected now i want to control the options based on the option what i given if i select chennai only chennai places has to come if i select bangalore only bangalore places has to come only chennai places and bangalore places has to come now look at this so what is our intention your intention is based on this field value of this field should be modified so one field is trying to control value of another field if one field is trying to control the value of another field we call this concept as field dependency what is this concept called field dependency when the value of one field trying to control the value of another field we call it as field dependency i hope everyone is good with this okay now look at this sir quick example field dependency if the value of one field value of one field try to control controls value of another field we call it as field dependency <laughs> if the value of one field controls the value of another field we call it as we call it as field dependency if the value of one field control the value of another field if the value of one field controls the value of another field we call it as field dependency right. controlling field can be check box or pick list which field can be a controlling field check box field or a pick list check box field or a pick list field controlling field can be a check box or a pick list now in case in case if you choose in case if we choose pick list as a controlling field in case if we choose pick list as a controlling field in case if we choose pick list as a controlling field then it cannot have it cannot have 
more than 300 options. If we choose pick list as a controlling field, it cannot have more than 300 options. If you choose pick list as a controlling field, I told you can go with a checkbox or a pick list. If you choose pick list as a controller, it cannot have more than 300 options. Okay. Now, what is the next one we had? Dependency field. What is the dependency field? Dependency field. What is the dependency field? This field is specified. Okay. This field can be this field can be pick this field or multi select pick this field. Dependency field. This field can be a pick list field or a multi select pick list field. Dependency field can be a pick list field or a multi select pick list field. So, let me show you an example of it. So, if you want to take controlling field, it has to be a it has to be a pick list or checkbox field. If you want to go with a dependency field, if you want to go with a dependency field, it can be a pick list or multi select. Let us take a quick example of this. Now look at this. Setup, build, create objects, choose the object, then we are clicking on what? But besides that, what are you finding? Field dependency. Click on the field dependency. Then new field dependency. Then now look at this. Controlling field, active, which is a checkbox, city, which is a pick list, own house, which is a checkbox. Look at this, you find city, pick list, places, pick list, type, pick list. So, what fields you came? Checkbox or pick list. Now, I have chosen city. dependent, city, pick list, languages, multi select, places, pick list. Type pick list. I have chosen places. Now, these are the controlling options. These are the dependent options. So, Bangalore, Marthali. So, which option you want to display? Select Chennai. So, Tambaram, Rompuy. So, we have Hyderabad. We have SR Nagar. I have only three options. Only three options I have. Okay. Now, this is how I win. I select it. Then go to customer. Now, what is the place? None. Bangalore. Right? So, the value of one field is controlling the value of another field which we are calling as Field dependency. So here I am able to give here. Steps to create field dependency. Set up. Build. Create. Objects, object name, field dependency, step number one, choose the controller.
number two, choose the different field. I hope you are clear with this. Then include the option for the controller. Include the options for the controller. Include the options for the controller. I hope you are good with this format. So when one field is trying to control the option of another field, we call it as field dependency. Controlling field can be a picklish field or a checkbox field. If you choose picklish field as a controller, it can have up to 300 options. Now dependent field, it can be a picklish field or a multi set picklish field. Right boss? Any other query from your end? I can have A to B, B to C. I can have A to B, B to C. Or else I can have A to B, A to C. Are you clear about this? People are good with this relation. So creation of fields and field dependency. Now we had one more different data type which is called text encrypted. This is also different format of field. Till now whatever we covered, everyone is good with that? Fine? Okay. Let us go to the next type of the data type which is called text encrypted. What is this text encrypted? Now, in the Gmail, you forgot your password. When you reset the password, what they will send? Your registered mobile number is 9xxxx02. Or your registered email ID is abc star 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 something. Am I right? Or else when you withdraw the money from ATM, star 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 last two digits, right? What was that? The data is encrypted and saved. When you say, Password, look at the point. There's a difference between password and encrypted data. I have a form like this. I will take. Name, password. Name, phone number, password. I get a passport. Now, when I save the data, how this data is saved? Password when I am entering, it will not be displayed. But when it is saved to database, it will be saved. Password. Satish. When it is saved to database, it will be saved in the original format. When I say encrypted field, now when I say password, while entering it will not be shown. But in the database, what will be saved here? The original format of the data will be saved. When I say text encrypted, while you are entering the data, you can see it. Once it is saved, it will be encrypted and saved in the database so that nobody can see the data in original format. Now let us say banking application is there, your online passwords are there, your ATM pin numbers are there. The staff cannot see that data. If I am a clerk, when I open your details, I will not be able to see your password or pin card, pin number. It should be given as star, star, star. Right, because it is a sensitive data. When it is a sensitive data, while saving the data to database, the data has to be saved in 
encrypted format then i am going to use text encrypted what is the data type text encrypted have you got the point when you are going for a sensitive data when you are going for a sensitive data it has to be saved in the encrypted format then we are going for text encrypted now who can see the data in original format nobody will be seen including the administrator can not see who can see this data in original format no one will be able to see i can modify click on edit and modify click on edit and modify but still you cannot see in original format okay are you clear now let me create one field for understanding new what is the data type we had the last name mask with what star or x i told some x mask all the characters different styles are there you choose whatever you want in which format you want to display right now i have chosen this next next now how do you create a record tell me now go to the tab new enter the data now some we are giving it i am giving some data here when i save this data how this data is shown so the data is encrypted and saved if i want to try to modify it will accept but original data will not be displayed you enter the new data it will take it but the old data you cannot see in original format are you getting my point so how the data is stored encrypted and saved are you clear if you want to mask any data and save it we will go for text encrypted so let me give you the data type text encrypted what is text encrypted if you want to save any sensitive data this data we use text encrypted if you want to save any sensitive data we use a text encrypted data type data will be saved database in the encrypted format no one no user by default no user can see the data in the virtual format if you want to grant an access grant access to view the data in original format 
to see the data in the original format. In the profile, in the profile, we have to give grant access. view encrypted data permission so by default nobody can see the data in original format if you want to give that permission if you want anybody to see the data in original format if you want to see the data in original format if you want to show the data in original format then i have to go for what then i have to go for giving then i have to go for giving view encrypted data in the profile if I give a permission, in the profile, if I give a permission, view encrypted data. If I give that permission, data will be shown to you in original format. By default, nobody can send. By default, nobody can see. By default, nobody can see. If you want to see the data in original format, we have to enable. Right, boss? We have to enable. We have to enable an option called view encrypted data. By default, nobody can see in original format. If I want to show the data in original format, we have to enable an option called view encrypted data permission. I hope you are good with this. Okay. Now, what is the length of the data? Maximum length of the data is 175 characters. Maximum length of the data is 175 characters. I hope you are good with this. Clear for everyone? Right, boss? So, this is how we are creating. So, by now, we got a clarity about basic data types of a field. So, look at this. Out of this, if you have any queries, let me know. Checkbox, currency, date, date time, email, geolocation is what? Your longitude and latitude. Number, percent, phone, quick list, multi select, text, text area, long, rich, encrypted, time, URL, URL of your website. Now, these options are clear. All these are what? data types. So, what is the steps involved for creating a field? Set up, build, create, object, custom fields and relations, new, choose the data type. Second step, enter the field name. Third step, next, next, save. If you create the fields using schema builder, the fields will not be displayed on output screen. There is a different format to show that. So, tomorrow I will show you how to show the fields on UI. Right. Is that was clear for everyone? Right. Now, look at this. 